Today, I wanna to clear up a common misconception about working as a professional organizer and when you buy containers for your clients. I'm frequently asked, when do I buy organizing products and specifically, do I bring them to the first appointment? Hi, I'm professional organizer, Katherine Lawrence. I help you live a life with less clutter so you can have space for the things that truly matter. In today's video, we are looking at mistakes to avoid when buying products for your client and when is the right time to shop for containers. Also, what is the real role organizers play in our client's quest for organization? We shouldn't be just telling them to buy more containers. There is so much more to it. So I'm chatting with a new organizer and she was doing her first job organizing a closet for a family member. She told me the first thing she did was went to Target and bought products so that she would be prepared for the job. Now, of course, I'm cringing a little bit because I can think of all the reasons not to do that and what's gonna go wrong. So she arrived at her job, she carries all the products upstairs to the closet and takes a look at the space. Now, like most closets that are cluttered, there are lots of things that do not fit. Uh, there are lots of things that have never been worn or are no longer wanted. She starts to sort it all out. At the end of the decluttering process, she realizes that there is ample storage and space for all the remaining items. So she carries all the products back downstairs to her car, takes another trip to Target, to do the return. So think about this as a paid organizing job. How would you charge your client for all the waste of time moving in and out products that you don't use? The time commuting and standing in line at Target, both to purchase and to return the items. And who is paying for those items? Are you carrying that cost and then invoicing your client later? I don't want you to do any of those things and you shouldn't either if you want to create a profitable and sustainable business. There is a much simpler way to do this. A better approach looks like this. First, get to know your client, their vision, their goals, their budget. Next, take a tour of the home, brainstorm ideas, take measurements, and get together a space plan. The most important step, of course, declutter. Sort and remove all of the excess clutter. You don't want to buy containers that you're not going to use because your client is letting go of things that you no longer have to store. And next, you're gonna repurpose the existing containers or purchase new containers for what remains. This approach saves time and money, creates a more permanent solution, and saves you the trouble and anxiety of trying to figure out what containers will fit and what containers you need before you even know what you are putting in them and where they are going to be stored. One of the biggest mistakes people make when trying to get organized is focus on buying containers. And I get it. There is a billion dollar industry constantly bombarding us with images of organized homes filled with boxes and bins. So it's easy to think that if you had the right containers, everything would be great. But organization is much more than that. And professional organizers are more than just personal shoppers for organizing containers. We help you let go of excess belongings, creating a solid foundation for an organized life. We examine your space and find ways to maximize existing storage and vertical space. And most importantly, enlighten you to the day-to-day -day behaviors that are creating the physical clutter in your home and hold you accountable to making real change. Our goal is to create custom solutions that work specifically for you, not just a one size fits all approach. Now let's talk about containers because they certainly have their place, but encourage your client to use what they already have before purchasing new ones. And shoe boxes, mason jars, and repurposed items can be just as effective for organizing. Think about using what your client already has in their home. It's gonna save everyone a lot of time and a lot of money. I've worked in homes where the attic, garage, and basement are filled with organizing products. And during the decluttering process, more and more empty containers are becoming available. Now this is a really extreme example, but often working on the Hoarders TV show, I'm sorting through a ridiculous amount of empty organizing containers already at the client's home. And now that becomes this huge category of things that need to be organized and disposed of. So remember, organizing is more than just putting in containers. Organizers are here to transform lives, 
lives, through organization, helping our clients take control of their environment and thrive. To ensure that you're picking out the right containers when the time comes, check out my course, Selling Organization. There are product and shopping guides as well as everything else you'll need to launch your home organizing business. So what questions do you have about starting your organizing business? Drop them in the comments below so I can create more tutorial videos. Please like and subscribe for more videos on decluttering, downsizing, and the business of organizing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.